Today, the fight over the placement of a sexually violent predator in the East County is picking back up again. This will be at the center of a hearing later this morning. And News 8's Allison Royal joining us live outside the Central Courthouse downtown, where again residents are planning to make their voices heard. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. Yeah, this is a familiar story. We were just out here at this central downtown courthouse on Union Street just a couple of weeks ago for a separate hearing for a different sexually violent predator that is scheduled to be placed in that exact same home in the Mount Helix area. Now, coming up later today, there's going to be a placement hearing for Merle Wakefield. He's 64 years old, and he's another convicted sexually violent predator. He was first convicted back in 1981, according to the DA, and then again in 1990. In 1998, the San Diego Supreme Superior court system classified him as a sexually violent predator, which is why there are all these strings attached. He has been recommitted twice, once in 2000 and once in 2009. Now let's fast forward. Back last year in 2020, two doctors recommended that Wakefield be safely placed in a home in the San Diego County community. Of course, there have been complaints, especially from people who live over in the East County, since many of these sexually violent predators seem to always be placed in that general area of the county and that it's not proportionate to the population. Many ask why not be placed in North County, for example. The for-profit Liberty Healthcare oversees these types of sexually violent predators in our area and said it will monitor these predators thoroughly and continue their rehabilitative health care. So this 64-year-old Merrill Wakefield could go to that same home as Douglas Badger. If that name sounds familiar, you're right, because we covered his case just a couple of weeks ago. There was a hearing for him where neighbors could call into this Zoom hearing, and they all cited safety concerns, saying that there are multiple schools and preschools and daycare facilities in that Mountain Helix area. And they also talked about some other things that maybe you wouldn't expect, such as the downfall it could have on real estate prices in the pricey neighborhood. Some neighbors say that they're happy that they can express their voice and that they think that they're being heard, but others say that they worry that this will continue to happen in the East County neighborhood and that maybe five sexually violent predators could eventually be living in that home. I'm infuriated. My husband is, we work so hard to live in this neighborhood. I care about the city of El Cajon. And then that hearing is coming up at 9 o'clock this morning. But just before it at 8.30, a number of neighbors are expected to gather here and protest.